The series of deadly shootings span the width of the city from here in downtown to the west side and the east side and leave some residents once again wondering what city leaders are doing to keep them safe from the violence. Just after sunset Sunday night on East 35th Street, a man and woman were found shot to death inside a car which came to a stop after it crashed into a tree. I come home last night and it was two dead people in their car, you know, and it's just very unnerving. Mike Hamilton lives across the street and didn't know what led up to the killing, but detectives believe the motive may have been some kind of a robbery. I've been in the same neighborhood for, you know, most of my life, man. You just could never imagine that it would get so violent around here. Just 90 minutes later, police were called to East New York Street near Sherman and found 30-year-old Peter Carr shot to death near an alley. Earlier Sunday, a fourth person was killed sitting outside the living room lounge on North Pennsylvania in downtown. That victim, 56-year-old Jeffrey Whitsey, was sitting on the back patio when witnesses say a man walked up unprovoked and shot him multiple times before running away. Finally, on Saturday morning, 24-year-old Kane Baca was killed after being shot in the parking lot of an apartment building on Coquita Key Drive on the city's west side. It's very, very strange, you know, how violent things are, you know, right before our very eyes. Those killings brought the total number of homicides this year to 159 in just over seven months. But the fact is, Indianapolis is not the only city struggling to prevent deadly violence. We see it every day in our city, but the whole nation is experiencing the exact same thing. So far, no arrests have been made in any of the five homicides. As always, anyone with information on any of those cases can contact Crime Stoppers or IMPD's Homicide Office. Jesse Wells, CBS4 News. Jesse, thank you.